welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me because today I'm going to an 18th birthday lunch. It's sort of rare that I have like an occasion to get super dressed up for. So I thought it'd be fun to take you guys through like my skincare routine, makeup routine, hairstyle, and what I'm wearing. The lunch is at 12 p.m. So it's sometime in the morning right now. The weather outside, not gonna lie, it's cold and rainy and I need to wear a dress and heels. We're just gonna go with it. We're gonna have fun despite the weather. Yesterday I painted my nails. They look sort of average but <laughs> I'm only just starting to get used to painting my own nails with my own natural nails because usually I get acrylics done but I want to have healthy nails and have long natural nails. So I got some OPI nail polish colors. I got the OPI nail polish color in Bubble Bath and then I got the OPI nail polish in Funny Bunny and then the top coat. I'd seen this combo all over Pinterest and I think it's just like a really nice natural color and then I got my toes done with with my mum the other day and I got a French tip. Everything is feeling put together. I also put on a gradual moisturizing tan yesterday and I honestly feel amazing because it hasn't been that sunny where I live lately and I feel like coming out of winter my body has not seen sun in so long. So just having a bit of a glow, a bit of a tan, my tan that I used is called summer glow, just makes me feel so put together and I love it to moisturize up because you just moisturize after the shower and it adds a bit of a tan without being like fake tan that you have to remove. This morning I just popped in my dangly flower earrings and then these studs that I recently got and then I think I'm going to wear this silver bracelet which I love. It's honestly I think just from La Vista but it's so pretty. I've just got on my dressing gown with my dress underneath though because I am cold and I want to be comfy and cozy while I do this get ready with me plus I don't want to get makeup on my dress but without further ado let's jump into this get ready with me if you enjoy give it a big thumbs up all my social medias are always in the description box if you want to keep up with my everyday life every day make sure you hit that notification bell because I have so many fun videos coming your way and let's jump into it I just used the Cetaphil facial cleanser and washed my face in the sink to give my skin a smooth base before I go on with my skincare. But now I'm going to be going in with the Ordinary Serum. I have been using this product for ages. I love it so much. It's the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% High Strength Vitamin and Mineral Blemish Formula. I love this serum and I think it's so important before putting on makeup to have a good base built from skincare. I am now going to go in with the Cetaphil fill moisturizing cream. This moisturizer is so good. It hydrates my skin for so long. Oh, my skin feels so lovely and moisturized now. Now I'm going to go in with the Nadio Sun Sensitive Sunscreen SPF 50 because despite it being cloudy and rainy outside, it's so important to wear SPF 50 every single day. And that is sunscreen done, a key part to my routine. I use this every single day without fail. And that is so quick and easy. My skincare routine is done. Now we can jump into my makeup but I think it might be best to do my hair first because wait is it best to do my hair first? I should probably actually do my makeup first because I still can't decide. I want to do like a high ponytail with curls but I am not sure if I want to have face frames with curls at the front. I'm gonna go onto my Pinterest board again because I saved a couple photos on my Pinterest board because I thought it would be so pretty to have like a high ponytail because I have a bow at the back of my dress so you can see it. And this is a very chill get ready with me, by the way, guys. Like, very chill. Okay, I saved these two photos on my Pinterest board. And I don't know if I want to go for the bow one with the ribbon in the hair or the plain one. I'm sort of leaning towards this one because it's got, like, the face frames. And I think it just looks really nice and classy. Also, with the rain, it's good to have your hair up because then it's just out of your face. I'm going to do my makeup first because I feel as though those face frames are going to get in the way when I'm trying to do my makeup. I'm very excited to do my makeup though because I've recently gotten a few new makeup products in my weekend in my life vlog which I recently uploaded. Go check it out. It's really good. I opened up my Mecca package which my parents surprised me with and I got a couple new makeup products which I had been wanting for ages. They've started selling Glossier at Mecca which is the sort of huge makeup store that we have here in Australia and Glossier was originally just like an American brand and you would have to travel to America to get them. So I ended up up getting the Glossier Blush Lip Gloss. I got the Summer Fridays Lip Balm and I got the Hourglass Eyebrow Gel because I had been on the hunt for a good clear eyebrow 
gel. So I'm really excited to actually put them to use because I've been using a few of them in my everyday routine. But when you're actually doing a full face of makeup, I feel like it makes the biggest difference to actually test them. And it's just made getting ready in the morning like that much more fun. Starting off with my makeup, I'm going to go in with the Morphe Filter Effect Concealer. and then my eyebrows. I know a lot of people do their eyebrows first but I find that when I'm blending in products it just smushes them all around. So I'm going to be going in with the Off Duty Contour Stick by Mecca. I love this stick. I got it at the start of the year maybe for my 16th birthday and I love the bronzy glow that it just gives your face and when you put it on it's a trust the process okay. It will not look like this trust me. is my bronzer all blended in. Now my face just has like the nicest tan summer glow which is what I'm going for. I am now going to go in with my blush because I have two blushes which I've been combining lately. I have the Glossier blush which I got a couple days ago in the shade Dune. I expected this to be a more pinky shade. I still want to get their other ones which are pink but this one's more of a bronzer. So I've been combining this with another blush that I use from Mecca and that is the blush stick in the shade Tutu. These two together pair together so nicely but also these two pair together really nicely and I've never actually used all three together. So we're going to see how it looks today. First of all I'm going to just put this on my nose and then I always put my blush upwards on my cheeks to contour my face and then I'm going to go in with the Glossier blush. This stuff is like paint. Like the liquid consistency blends in so well but a little goes the longest way. I've only got that much on my finger and I guarantee you guys it will be more than enough and then usually I just blend these two products in with my fingers just because why not? I feel so many more people are just stripping it back with makeup lately doing more natural looks and blending with their fingers rather than professional brushes and we've sort of gone out of that trend where everybody has a full face with primer, foundation setting spray and I'm sort of here for it. It just is so much more natural and enhancing your natural features. I think now it's actually time to go in with my eyebrows though. I'm so excited because tomorrow I've booked myself in to get my eyelashes and eyebrows tinted. I've been wanting to get my eyebrows tinted for so long now because that one step in my beauty routine that makes me feel so much more confident and if I don't have to do it each day and put tinted eyebrow gel on it will save so much time in my routine and it will also prevent me from putting makeup products on my face which is obviously better for my skin. At the moment though, I'm going in with the Mecca Max Tinted Eyebrow Gel in the shade Auburn. I don't have auburn hair, but this shade just fits my tone a lot better than their brown one. And that is my tinted eyebrow gel on. I, ugh, I just love this product so much. But now I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Clear Eyebrow Gel. That is my eyebrows done. Does anyone, when they start doing their makeup, just feel really low energy, low vibes, I don't want to do this, and then halfway through when they start looking good, they're like, yeah, okay, we got this. I was gonna do, should I do a little bit of eyeshadow? I don't usually put it on, but I've got the Hoola Benefit Bronzer, which I've had for way too long. It's probably expired. It actually is expired, but you know, I just don't really care. I might go in with a little bit of this on my eyes, just to look a little bit color on my eyes otherwise I feel like my eyes look white I think bronzer on your eyes is just like the perfect medium of putting on eyeshadow without putting on eyeshadow you know what I'm saying eyes are done I think I'm going to go in with this Mecca Max highlighter I got this in my advent calendar last year if you guys don't remember you didn't watch my vlogmas or you haven't seen my Instagram reels I got a Mecca advent calendar last year for Christmas and it was like 12 days of makeup and I actually actually didn't realize that this product was a highlighter until a few months ago honestly and I wanted a highlighter and I was like oh 
what can I use? And I found this because my friend has the Emco Beauty Highlighter and I used it when we were in Italy and I was like, oh my goodness, this is the best highlighter I've ever used. And I've actually put it on my Christmas list. But for the meantime, I've been using this one and it's so similar. Look at that glow. She is stunning. One of my last steps to my routine is obviously my eyelashes. I don't have the longest eyelashes in the world, so I just sort of do what I can with them. I go in with the Mecca Max Eyelash Curler and then I use the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara. This is the best mascara I've ever used. It's so affordable and I love it so much. My mum actually recommended this to me. I've tried all of the other mascaras that like my friends have recommended me and they've always just clumped my eyelashes and I hate that look. So this one is the best because it's the only one that doesn't clump my eyelashes. I'm trying to heat my eyelash curler up over my heater because that just prevents my eyelashes from falling once I curl them. Like if my eyelash curler is hot, it keeps my eyelashes up for so much longer. And those are my eyelashes done. I think that is my makeup complete. The only thing that I want to do now is go in with this lip pencil. And I think I'm going to pair it with my new Glossier lip gloss. I am so excited to use this Glossier lip gloss because I haven't had the chance yet. And I'm just, I've seen it all over Pinterest. And the fact that I actually have it just makes me so happy. It's so aesthetic. And I've been on the hunt for a really good lip gloss for ages now. So I'm really happy. I found one. I also got this in my Mecca advent calendar so if you're coming up to Christmas I really recommend a makeup advent calendar they actually come in so handy and you get some good products from them these two products will be going in my bag right now and that is my makeup all done now we can jump into my hair for my hair I've just heated up my GHG curling wand I love this curling wand so much it curls your hair in like 15 seconds and it stays for so long and then I've just got two hair ties a comb a bristle brush so that it like slicks back my hair and then a normal brush just for whatever. I then have the Tresemme heat protectant spray. I love this one. And then I've also got the wet look styling gel. I just use this one. I eventually want to get one of those mermaid sticks that slick back your flyaways. But I've just always used this one because as a dancer, when it's come to concert time or whatever, my parents or whatever have just bought me this one. So that's what I still use for my slick backs. And then I'm going to go in with the Tresemme hairspray over the top. This is actually the best ponytail I've ever done in my life. I'm not even kidding you guys. Oh my god, this looks so good. I'm now going to just tease it up, add some volume, add some curls. is my hair and makeup all done I think it turned out so nice I'm going to go put on my outfit now and share with you guys my final look and this is the final outfit I have this dress from that's so fetch I'll leave it in the description box but I absolutely love it I love it because it has a little bow on the back that's why I have my hair up and then I have this shawl just from Target this is perfect for days like today when you need to wear a dress but you're someone like me who gets cold it doesn't look look too over the top but it just adds so much more and then I have these nude heels which I've had for ages I literally cannot even remember where I got them from maybe I got them from Maya but they just come in so handy I feel like a nude pair of heels is essential to like anyone's staple wardrobe because there's so many times where you just need a pair of heels that match with everything and then to go with the nude on the heels and the white in the dress I've just got my nude and pink guest handbag I absolutely love Love this dress though it just looks so cute but this is me all ready now for my party celebration birthday it's of a friend of mine so I'm really excited to give her her gift and just have a really nice fun Saturday but I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me and if you are getting ready whilst you're watching this I hope you have a wonderful time wherever you're going or a wonderful day if you're just getting ready for the day or if you're not getting ready just have a great time in general and I hope this gave you a bit of makeup or skincare inspiration, hair inspiration, or just a bit of entertainment. Once again, all my social medias will be in the description box if you want to see all the pictures that I take and post of me in this outfit and just my everyday life in general. And let me know in the comments down below any other video ideas which you want to see from me. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.